With most of the Rhythm Band and Sweet Pipes publications, you're granted the right to copy parts for use by your individual bell ringer. You'll want to prepare enough copies for your class size. The Sweet Pipes publications all have a list near the top of the page showing the bells used for each song. After you've determined the bells used for a particular song, you should prepare the music for the bell ringers. We recommend purchasing a set of color-coded markers. Prepare a separate sheet for each bell note by circling the note each time it occurs. You'll want to use the marker that matches the bell. Although colored markers are not necessary, it helps to keep the songs organized. In some cases, you'll want to have one bell ringer play more than one bell. Using colored markers will help allow the bell ringers to switch between the bells more easily. You'll want to set up the bell ringers in a way that is comfortable for you to direct. Some directors prefer to set the bells up from lowest to highest pitch, while others prefer to set them up in the order that the notes occur. Many of these CDs contain both a practice track and a performance track. The practice tracks include the bells so that your ringers can hear the melody played before trying it themselves. The performance tracks do not have the melody, allowing your bell ringers to be the stars. The first few times through the song, you may have to point to the bell ringers when it is their turn. Soon your ringers will be able to follow along by reading the music. This is an excellent way to introduce your young students to the idea of reading from the staff. Many of the Sweet Pipes books by Bradley Bonner feature arrangements with two or more parts. Once you and your bell ringers are more comfortable with playing a melody, you'll be able to add parts to challenge your bell ringers and make the music even more interesting. If you are using desk bells, you can color code the music so that a single player could ring each of the bells needed for an entire melody. Now, let's switch gears and take a closer look at the chord